I have Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. By the way, we'll uh, talk to Mike about Ring of Honor in a moment, but I do want to say, since we were just talking about Raw, I am very excited for Raw tonight, because tonight is the end of the Thunderdome. I'm sorry, Eddie, but the reality is I'm, I'm ready. I am ready for these fans to return, and this is it. This is it for Raw. This is the last show ever in the Thunderdome. Show's already been taped. It's done. It's over. The Thunderdome is finished. And I do feel that beginning this Friday, things are going to become more exciting. We will have this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You, you say that with such conviction as if there's anything like possibly in doubt about that. Like you're like you're predicting lottery numbers. Can you predict Powerball or Mega Millions with the same uh, confidence? Bro, I got a net worth predict- of twelve million dollars. You don't think some of that's lottery money? Things are going to get exciting because people are finally back in the no, building. No, you and we're nerd. Not just you know why? You know it's going to get exciting anymore. because why? I know Vince, and the guy is uh, not much of a booker nowadays. But if you don't think that on Friday on a live SmackDown. The first show, the first television show in front of fans in 18 months. That this guy is going to do some crazy stuff? Think again. If you don't think there's going to be some crazy stuff on the first Raw in 18 months with fans next Monday, think again. There's going to be angles on SmackDown. There's going to be stuff going on at the pay-per-view. There's going to be stuff going on. I'm not saying it's going to be good. I don't know what's going to be. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be horrible. Maybe it'll be funny. I mean, you got to think, like, where's The Fiend been? Where's Becky Lynch been? Is John Cena going to work SummerSlam? What are these fans going to do when they see Alexa Bliss? What are these fans going to do when Rhea and Charlotte get in the ring? There's going to be there's going to be returns. There's going to be debuts. There's going to be excitement. There's going to be confusion. There's going to be anger by the fans. Oh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. Everything turns around after today. This is it. This is the end of this era of, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Pandemic. Look at you. Renewed confidence. Look at your happy. I don't have renewed confidence. I'm just telling you facts. Energy. You've already got energy. You, you've attracted the energy that you're hoping is going to into these no, shows. No, there is going to be, there is going to be wackiness. Okay. I'm not sitting here telling you all of a sudden everything's going to turn around and like the shows are going to be well booked or we're not going to see the same matches on every show because we will, but like stuff's going to happen starting on Friday. All right. Let's see this stuff. This stuff better be good. If they bring out Alexa Bliss and they want her to be cheered and she's booed, which, by the way, she's going to be cheered because they stopped doing all that stupid stuff. But, like, this doll, when this doll eventually comes back and the fans, like, booed out of the building, whatever they're going to do, I can do a whole show on that. Like, I'll have material for weeks once these people come back. (laughs) Well, let me ask you a question before we go into Ring of Honor. Becky Lynch, look, she is a needle mover. She is not necessarily going to, like, tilt the territory, though. She won't single-handedly make a massive difference, although, you know, again. Maybe she will. I don't know. Maybe maybe she will, but, you know, to me, can you wait till Royal Rumble? When would you actually bring Becky back? Because the idea of bringing her back for the ladder match I thought would be a horrible idea, although they need women stars right now. I mean, that could have been a thing where Tony Storm could have debuted in that position or something like that. But when it comes to Becky, because she is so valuable and you want to be careful, do you promote her before you bring her back? Do you bring her back at the Rumble where you know people are going to watch anyway and they'd be salivating over something like that to get her ready for WrestleMania? What do you do? Because... I could wait till Royal Rumble and to make sure that I had a match leading into WrestleMania that was mammoth, whatever it was going to be, because Becky Lynch against Charlotte, Becky against Sasha, Becky against Bianca, you know, you make I'll tell a dream you what match do, or whatever it is. I tell you what I do. When Bailey got hurt and they decided we're gonna move this women's title match off pay per view and we're gonna put it on television, and then uh, who is gonna replace Bailey? And they came up with Carmella. And obviously the reason for that is because they thought it would be great heat. And you know that because they were still in the Thunderdome. And so when they announced Carmella, they pushed every boo button that they had. And then Carmella had to say, oh, you're all so mad that it's me. And I was like, this is all about heat? Like, anyway, what I would have done is I would have said there's going to be a championship match on Friday with Bianca Belair. And we are in intense negotiations with her opponent. A 
former multi-time champion of the women's division. But we don't want to say her name because we might not be able to get the deal done. That's all you got to say. Fans are going to know it's probably Becky. And then you deliver Becky on Friday. Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. I don't want to hear any of these stupid arguments that, well, it's babyface versus babyface or whatever. Bro, I watch this show. I don't even know who's a babyface and who's a heel, and they all wrestle each other. It doesn't matter, number one. Number two, listen, how many matches do I have to see where they wrestle 20 minutes and there's no finish? Okay, it's WWE. Their fans accept this or condition of this. So you do Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair on Friday. Some woman, whoever it's going to be, runs in for the lame finish, because that's what they do. And then you announce next Friday, live on SmackDown, in front of fans, for the first time ever, Bianca and Becky are teaming up to face these two heels. You got a TV match out of it, and away you go. It's easy. Instead, we got, let's do another uh, Bianca-Carmella match. I feel like we've seen that before. Bianca wins. Who cares? whatever it's like i've seen all of this it's lame i don't want to see it i want something new i want something exciting i want something that will lead to new matches i also haven't seen before like it's not hard you could i'm sure somebody could come up with a better idea than what i came up with but trust me the idea i came up with is better than seeing the same match for the 50th time on the show now this isn't a factor that wrestling fans necessarily want to put into the equation but we have to put it in the, into the equation are they waiting, do you think, maybe because this is a dead period right now and that possibly they're waiting for the season premiere in September when football comes back and they want something big to go if they're going to do something then or if they're going to shake up rosters or something like that? Can you see them doing that and maybe bringing her back then as a strategic business move, which obviously is no fun to talk about when it comes to the wrestling stuff? And, you know, in the end, it won't matter once she does debut again. So, but, I mean, do you think that's what they could be waiting for? Because to be honest with you, I don't think I'd put her, to me, I would wouldn't even put her in this situation in this match for now. I would wait right now. I'd wait till at least the fall, at least closer to Survivor Series. Bro, they need something now. I know they need something now, but her coming back isn't going to do that. You also need to write. You don't know that. Well, number one, we're also talking about bringing back names like Brock Lesnar. We're bringing back a lot of names where, yeah, they. I mean, you would hope they would have impact, but uh, again, hold on a second, Mike. Hold on, hold on. Right now, there is no deal with Brock Lesnar. Maybe there will be a deal, but there is no deal right now. Right now, John Cena may or may not do SummerSlam because he just signed for a new movie. So they don't have Brock right now. They may not have John Cena right now. So so what do they got? But what's the big point the same of SummerSlam? Stuff I've seen Wait, hold 50 on, times? Hold on. What have you said about SummerSlam? SummerSlam is going to be sold out, as you predicted, to win one of these awards that I have behind me here, to be a prognosticator. It's going to be a huge event because there's going to be people there for the first time. And yeah, sure, you don't want to like half-ass it when you go into it, but you're going to have a relatively wrapped audience, I would figure, as your first one. Now, from there, it's going to get, I would figure, tougher if your stuff isn't good. And yeah, I know they yeah, need to so big do thing, something good at I SummerSlam. See how bringing because I don't see how bringing Becky back at SummerSlam. I don't know. I would still wait to do that. You know, yeah. further down the line when you actually have some idea and some plan of what you're doing. Because to bring well, Becky hopefully back they have a plan she, when they bring her but, back. But but. I don't know, but to bring her back and she gets trapped into a storyline with Carmella because they look at Carmella as ex, you know, as a star or whatever it is. I mean, I don't know. Hold to on. me, I, I would really want to have a, a plan. And if that Hold was on. wait till Royal Rumble, I'll take it. Hold on. You and this guy here that goes, why is Brian booking this? I don't want a dumb tag team and then a breakup and a feud. Bro, I didn't say one word about a breakup and, break a, feud. Up and a feud. Yeah. I, I told you how I would bring her back, and I told her what I would what I would do the next week with her, okay? I would bring her back for a big television match for the championship. You can do your dumb run in that you do 50 times on every show. You set up a tag team match for the following week, and the two baby the faces... The following week? Hold that's, on. How you want all, the, that's all you want to build it up the for? The two baby faces win the match, and then they go off and they do their thing. I didn't say anything about a breakup. I didn't say anything about a prolonged feud with Carmella. I told you a way to bring her back Friday to make a huge impact on the first uh, show with doesn't. fans after 18 months and how you could build from that to do something else a week after, and then you do whatever you want. A if you want a fantasy build? book crap out of what I came up with at the beginning, go for it, but I didn't do that. A one-week build? A one-week build to Bianca and Becky. That's Dude, what you'd do. 
Do you think that I want to do SummerSlam, Bianca and Becky versus Carmella and somebody? No, I don't want to do that at SummerSlam. I want a big match for Becky. So she comes back on July 16th. You do another match on July 23rd or whatever. And then you have a month to build up a program with her that means something for SummerSlam. Nah. Ten minutes you can figure out how to do this. Nah. Instead, I guess we'll see what they do. Why, does, why do I come up with an idea and then everyone comes up with more of an idea that I didn't come up with and then tell me how much it sucks? No, your ideas suck because you came up with that follow-up that I didn't even talk about. Waste of Becky. Guys, do you know what we're dealing with here? Do you guys understand? Have you been watching the show? I know most of you haven't, okay? But if you have been watching the show, my idea is leaps and bounds better than... You guys watch uh, SmackDown? And by the way, they just announced that Natty is in the uh, Women's Money in the Bank. They just threw her in. <laughs> She's one half of the tag team champions. Report that. What about Tamina? Is she in it? Why is Natty in but not Tamina? And then how come they threw Liv in for like a, a four-week storyline that culminated with she's just in the match? And you're yelling at me for my storyline? Back in a moment, Observer Live. If a Zoom meeting is three hours, the Zoom meeting would have only been two hours, except there's about an hour of people going, your mic's not on, Frank. There's like hours of this. Frank, your mic's not on. There was a day where if you would have said, Brian, you and John Moxley have a lot in common. I would have said, no, we have nothing in common. We don't have one thing in common. Well, here it is in 2021, and he's about to have a beautiful baby daughter on my birthday, in fact. Mm. He is also an author. We're both grapplers. And he hates Zoom. I mean, I have more in common with him than most people. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.